I've heard it said that a noble purpose requires sacrifice, innovation, and perseverance. First, sacrifice because making things better can be inconvenient. Innovation because it's the heart and soul of progress. And finally, perseverance because new challenges create new problems to overcome. The new 2019 Genoa 440 embodies this ideal. It was designed and developed by Jean-Marc Breton and Philippe Brion with the idea of redefining movement around a sailing vessel. It was specifically designed to accommodate the way one would walk around and live aboard the boat. Hello, my name is Amanda Haley with Dennis and Yachting, and we're here today in balmy Miami, Florida, aboard a video walkthrough of our newest listing, Avant. My colleague Matthew Morrison and I would like to show you this incredible new 2019 Genoa 440. We are sailing her in beautiful Biscayne Bay near the Cape Florida Lighthouse constructed in 1825. On our return, we pass through iconic Stiltsville, which was used as a hideout of sorts during the height of the Prohibition. Let's start at the bow. Here we see the integrated bowsprit. This particular vessel comes with a code zero on a furling drum and also a roller furling Genoa. She has more than an ample amount of ground tackle to be comfortable at anchor. In my opinion, there are three key features that redefine the movement around this vessel. The first one being these wide foredecks and side decks. One feels stable and secure while walking forward and aft. Second, the shrouds have been moved so as not to impede the passage while also creating handholds. These shrouds are used to support the mast. Usually they are further outboard, but they've moved them inboard so as not to impede the walkways. Lastly, her sloping side decks create no need to step over the combing to access the helm station. As we move midship, I'd like to point out the lower gooseneck fitting, which is what we see here under the sail bag on this fully battened classic main. Because it's about waist height, you will find easy access to the sails, lazy jacks, and sail bag. This also adds additional sail area, which enhances her sailing performance. Next, we are going to move to the cockpit, which is where sailors spend the majority of their time. Being such an essential space on board, there are a handful of standout qualities that any seafarer can appreciate. Let's start with the cockpit table. From here, you can control table power, ambient and cockpit lighting, as well as swim platform deployment controls. There is also a Yanmar control panel that is easily viewed from the helm station as opposed to being tucked in a corner. Here we see this nifty, removable, portable fridge unit that can be taken ashore with your favorite beverage or snack. The cockpit seating transforms into an enormous lounging space with an additional filler to enlarge it unlike any other sailing vessel. Her ergonomically correct helm with navigation screen, throttle, and bow and stern thrusters at the proper angle adds to her already easily handling. You may be as surprised as I was to find retractable bow and stern thrusters, which makes docking a breeze but eliminates drag while under sail. She has four Harkin winches, three of which are electric. The swim platform is easily deployed to offer intimate access to the water and activities. I can't imagine a better place to escape when under sail. 
Just forward of the swim platform, we find a 7.5 kilowatt Cummins Onan generator with only nine hours. Avant features a full-length hard chine, which adds stability, power, and volume within the interior. It has twin rudders to increase performance and reduce weather helm, and an L-shaped keel. Follow me down the gentle sloping companionway as we check out Avant's elegant, modern interior. Jeannot has created a new, innovative interior, such as a central galley. It has kept the nautical elements like chart table and fiddles, while including modern materials and contemporary woodwork. By moving the galley to the center of the vessel, this places the cooking experience at the most stable portion and gives direct access to the salon and cockpit. Here we find ample storage space, an under-counter fridge, stovetop and oven, and a cleverly stored microwave. Notice the full chart table with ample space to work and plot courses. The control panel is all kept in one place. Aft of the nav station, we find the port stateroom that has been converted into a storage space. There is a second stateroom on the starboard side that conjoins to a day head. Forward on the starboard side is the salon's dinette. There is seating for five around a telescoping expandable table. Notice the long hull port windows that let in plenty of natural light to open up the space. Forward is the master stateroom with a full rectangular bed. Below the companionway stairs is a shaft-driven 57 horsepower Yanmar engine with only 64 hours. There is nothing like waking up early, getting out on the water, spending time with friends and colleagues, and doing what I love. So on behalf of Denison Yachting and myself, I want to thank you for watching this video walkthrough. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me.